So how does one get their kidneys to filter? Okay, this video is about that. But before we understand why you need kidney filtration, um, here are a few basic stuff you need to know. Okay, everything in your body is made of cells. And in every cell, there are two fluids, blood and lymph. Now there's water and there's some fats, etc. And, and you know, I'm not factoring those in right now. The majority of fluids in, in each cell are, are the blood to feed the cell and lymph to protect the cell or to remove waste from the cell. Your lymphatic system compromises about 75% of the liquids in your body, okay? At least in, in, in between the cells. And the blood is only 25%. So when you are eating acidic foods like animal products or any cooked foods, starches, this is gonna make the, um, the body more to the acidic side. The, the cells producing waste are gonna release more waste into the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is gonna take that waste through the lymph nodes, through to the kidneys where it's eliminated. The problem arises when the, the foods you're eating are so acidic that this um, accumulates and the lymph system begins to get stagnant or doesn't move properly. That's because the kidneys stop filtering properly due to the foods that you have been eating. Now when the kidneys stop filtering this metabolic waste out, the lymphatic system is going to back up and it's going to burn tissue, organ, and glands. The acids will burn tissue, organ, and glands because the lymph system becomes acidic, okay? So you need kidney filtration because the kidney is the sewer plant of the body. It literally filters out the, uh, the metabolic waste from cells. Remember, every single cell in your body produces waste and consumes by, by the blood and produces waste by the lymph system. So it's, it's very important that the, the kidneys are in good shape in filtering acids. You can see if you're filtering by peeing into a jar in the morning and looking at uh, the jar through light, you should see sediment in like snowflakes in there. And if you don't see it in there, that means the kidneys are not filtering properly and probably the skin is taking the burden of the kidneys, okay? So how do you get the kidneys to filter? The key to get the kidneys to filter is to first change the diet. That's number one. You want to make sure you go on a 100% fruit diet or a raw vegan diet. It should be high fruit because the fruit is the only way you're going to be able to uh, move mucus, break down um, mucus, and it's, a, it's astringent, it's high flavonoid, high anti antioxidant, okay? It gives the body more energy than it takes away from digestion. So in other words, when you're digesting the fruits, the energy expenditure is far less than any other food you can eat, okay? Added to that, you're gonna take um, the herbs to help the lymphatic system move. Uh, you need herbs to fix the kidneys as well. There are quite a few herbs for, for that. So you take herbs for what we call the Fab Five. These are the, this is the lymph system, the stomach and bowels, the endocrine system, the adrenals and the kidneys. Oh, these major systems and organs have to be in good working order for your kidneys to function optimally, okay? For the whole body to function optimally. So we're gonna to to switch the diet. Then we're gonna use herbs for the kidneys, adrenals, lymph system, stomach and bowels, and additional kidney teas, and anything we can do to get the kidneys to work properly, okay? This can take a bit of time. Next, you want to make sure that you're eating only raw vegan, raw fruit, okay? And all uh, raw vegetables. Primarily, it should be 70% to 80% fruits and between 20% raw vegetables. It's preferred that you're 100% fruits. So you combine um, the high fruit diet with the herbs and then you can, you're going to do some intermittent dry fasting and some 24 to 36 um, hour dry fasting after a week or two of 100% fruit diet. Okay, Never jump in from a standard American diet to uh, a, a dry fast okay? because it's potentially um, can, can release a lot of toxins and if you're not eliminating waste properly those toxins can recirculate into the blood. So going to combine dry fasting, um, the herbs for the kidneys, adrenals, lymph system, stomach and bowels, and a 100% fruit diet. I, I like a grape only diet, say a 20, 30, 40 day grape only diet combined with the herbs and you're going to be doing all you can to get those kidneys to filter. When the kidneys start to filter, you're going to feel great. Okay, You're going to see acids come out of you. Um, the lymph system is going to work better because it's been filtered. Okay, and you're just gonna have a um, great feeling of rejuvenation, okay? So we use herbs like these, you know, the top five herbs, it's quite a few in here, I think over 42 of them. And these help with the kidneys, adrenals, lymph system, stomach and bowels, okay? Use teas like this, this is just actually a sweat tea, but we have tea called Fab3 tea and kidney tea that help you, you know, help the body remove um, and clean itself out, clean the cells out, sorry. Okay, and it's gonna get the, the body healthier, help you get the kidneys to filter, help the lymph system to move properly, and you'll be getting, um, good results in vitality and health.